to have like my scene look better. We have, let's just say we have two, three elements. We have the rock. We have the alien thing, which is very organic. Uh, and we need another one. And the reason is three is a magic number to have really nice, let's just say, materials in your environment. Let's just say rock, uh, the alien, and maybe some, some wood or man-made elements. So what I'm going to do is just create some scaffolding or some wood assets that we can use to say that, OK, let's just put some wood elements here. I'm going to my mega scans, 3D assets, and I'm going to look for some wood here. Let's just type wood. And I have some wood planks here. I can use any one of those. Let's just check how they look like. OK. This one, not really convince me. Uh, this one could be, but a little bit too polish. This one looks perfect. OK. So let's just grab this one. Uh, let's just create some skull folding really easy. And the way we're going to do that, we can use a blueprint, or we can just just create this in the editor. I highly recommend to use the blueprint. So I think that's what I'm going to do. OK, let's just create the blueprint anyway. So let's create the blueprint. And let's just call it, uh, create an actor, BP, wood, scuff, folding. I don't know if that's right, but get the idea. So in my blueprint, I'm just going to add like a static instance, static mesh. And I'm going to create, put my wood here, which is this one. And the reason I don't see any is because I haven't really add any instance here. So I'm, I'm going to add it here. OK. And the uh, way I'm going to treat it is I'm just going to add more of this. And let's like, just like 10, 100, then rotate it a little bit, just like this. And maybe I can, how do I duplicate? I forgot. <laughs> oh, oh, there you go. Duplicate. Yep. Yeah, yeah. You found it. And then I will just do something like this. Uh, gonna go crazy. Actually, it's gonna take some time doing this to create the scaffolding. So let's just do it in on engine. I'm just gonna duplicate this one and put it like this rotate a little bit. You don't want all the assets to look like the same. And you can, let's just hide this one for now. We can actually create a blueprint after we create this one, but I believe it won't be instance, instance static meshes. So we can just rotate this once, and then can do something like this and change the scale of this one, like this. can put it like this and remove the scaling for now. We can put something like this and rotate a little bit. Just like that. And we can just duplicate here, move it a little bit. And then just the same one here to add more, more stuff. We just want to add some noise uh, for now. We can refine later. But for now, for the purpose of this demo, we're just going to make it very quick and dirty. OK, 
can have something like this. And actually we can move this one like this to have like more assets. Let's just keep this one. So right click here, select and select all with the same material, which happens to be this one. And let's just put it somewhere here, like maybe here. And we can group this one and duplicate it and rotate it a little bit here, just like this. I have some wood here. And we can put the same one here. Like we can, of course, you can create so many things with this. And you can be creative and just duplicate those and create like different different structures you can you can use this is the problem of using uh, groups is that the scale doesn't work as nice so just keep that in mind and we can do the same here rotate it we can have some wood assets here that look really nice. Okay, and we can continue to do this. Add more noise. Let's just say this, there is a structure here that they they want to build. So let's just add the like this you can duplicate like this to add some noise this is just to add noise so here you can just duplicate those like this to have something nice and of course it's better to use it in the blueprint do it in the blueprint so that you can uh, modify this mesh and you can have like all the instances modified at the same time so let's just scale this like this just like that uh, this one we will put something like this okay. i believe we need like more assets here like the good thing about this is that we can have some different shots, like we can have a shot from here and a shot from here, and we can showcase this map uh, like from different angles. So let's just duplicate this one and move it here. Okay. And you can add more chaos, like rotating this a little bit. Just like that. So another thing we can we can do is to use our our splank here. Uh, the BP rope we have. You can add our rope here. And actually, I'm going to put a character here to check the scale. So I'm going to need my UNF Knight uh, meshes, not schedule mesh. I'm going to put this guy here. Okay. Looks like this one is on scale, actually. So what we're going to do is to connect these two and have some lines that point into this direction. 